Good morning, community. I am going live for the third time today because the first two times I had internet difficulties. And so um, if I cut out, um, I will just try this one more time. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you about how to leverage your time and avoid burnout. And I wanna to talk to you about my two favorite ways to do that that I've been focusing on this past year. And these are things that you can start implementing in your business like right away. Um, so there's no reason for you not to start leveraging your time. Um, and this is something I think is especially relevant with the holidays uh, quickly approaching. Uh, Thanksgiving is this Thursday. So happy Thanksgiving to all of you who are in the community and celebrate. And um, for those of you who do not celebrate Thanksgiving because you're maybe in another country, um, I hope that you have a wonderful and productive week. Um, so the first thing that I have been focusing on in my business is small automations. And if you've been in my community for any length of time, you know that I'm really big on systems, workflows, automations. And so when I'm saying like small automation, what I'm talking about are things like um, a welcome email when someone opts in to your freebie, or maybe that looks like if someone has expressed interest in your service, whether you're a wedding photographer or a web designer or a coach, um, having a, an email template that is automatically sent after they send you an inquiry email, right? And so those are automations that I use HoneyBook to set up for. Um, I also use Acuity Scheduling. I also use things like Kartra. These are client relationship management tools. Um, you can do this with things like 17 Hats or Dubsado. Dubsado. I'm not sure exactly how you say it, but I use HoneyBook for a lot of these small automations. And again, these, I'm not, when I'm talking about automations, I'm not talking about huge systemic marketing funnels that if they click on this, they get put into subset marketing sequence B and like all these crazy things. I'm talking about like the small leveraging automations. Another example of a small automation is if someone books themselves with for a strategy session, right? They put in their information, they pick their time. One, not only am I not doing a ping pong of emails, I've already leveraged my time by having a scheduling tool in my business, but I'm also leveraging even more by connecting Zoom to Acuity Scheduling. And so when they book and they say, yeah, I want a strategy session or yes, I want a discovery call, they also automatically get their call link for our time together. And it's just automatically there in their email and they click on it when they're ready to join the call the day of, right? So there's these small automations that we can like one week at a time, focus on different ones. Um, so maybe it's creating an opt-in and creating that welcome email, or maybe it's creating that questionnaire that automatically sends after they've inquired. Um, maybe it is setting up that, um, those booking, small booking automations. So depending on wherever you're at in your business, there's small automations that you can add to help you leverage your time so that you can focus on those client relationships. You can have more time to actually dialogue and get on those calls, right? And that's what we are all wanting to do. We're all wanting to book more clients. We're all wanting to increase our income and our impact. And so these small automations help us leverage our time to do that. The second way that I leverage my time in my business is by reusing and repurposing old content that's still very good. So because we are high quality people, we're driven, the, the content we create is really good. And it doesn't need to just be seen once for a launch. There's so many ways to repurpose and reuse your content. I'll name a few here, but if you're really wanting to learn more about that, you can drop NYC in the comments below and I'll send you information about my, my do-it-yourself do course on how to map your content out and turn your one piece of content into 10, right? And also create content in advance without getting burnt out as well. Like there's all different types of ways to leverage your your time with how you reuse and repurpose your content. Um, one way is by using loopers. Loopers are things that allow, uh, it's, it's like part of a, a social media scheduler and it will loop your content so you don't have to go in and reschedule every week uh, what content you want to get visible. Now, some platforms don't allow you to do this anymore. Like Twitter has put in rules and regulations about you can only use the same exact tweet once. Um, but for things like Pinterest, um, it will loop repinning that same pin over and over and 
Um, that saves you time, 15, 20 minutes each week, scheduling out pins if you use something like Tailwind um, or Buffer or something like that. And so um, another way you can repurpose a great blog post um, is by mentioning it again, right? So I'm gonna use this example for you right now. I mentioned HoneyBook automations. I have a blog post that very specifically and in a detailed way outlines how I create an automation in HoneyBook. Um, and so if, if you need that, go to my website and look at the library. And that's one of my most recent posts is how to use HoneyBook automations. Um, and so repurposing it, even though I'm talking to you about how to leverage your time today, I wrote a quality post that will last for a really long time and is still beneficial, right? And so there's, there's two ways um, again, to leverage your time. One is by using small automations and the other is by repurposing uh, and reusing your old content. Um, another way, I just want to drop one more valuable way you can use old content. So um, creating a tripwire. So when somebody opts in and they get to that thank you page, offering something else at a low price point, maybe like $7 or $12. Um, maybe it's an old workbook that you used with clients you can frame that as a $12 opt-in um, and that's a trip wire and it's something you might have used with your clients but now if somebody else is wanting to learn how to serve their clients they can use this workbook right so there's all kinds of ways we can reuse and leverage our content so it gets more life and more purpose and more profitability out of it okay so i want to talk to you about how to know when you're leveraging and when you're automating so before you start leveraging or automating anything you should really feel good about your core offer, your ideal client persona, and your brand messaging, like, and be consistent about it, right? And the way we do that is by practicing maybe to other Facebook groups, or we practice on social media. And so once you feel really good about that, that's when you need to start adding in these little automations. And these are things that like I could have a VA do, but I don't need a VA to send out the Zoom call link because I've already automated it within Acuity Scheduling. And I've already got Acuity Scheduling embedded in my website, right? So there's these little things that we can start doing. And maybe it looks like starting with getting a scheduling tool, setting up your calendar availability and putting that on your website. That's an automation, right? People can book themselves into the calendar slots that you've given to them. Um, so, you know, one small thing at a time is, is really important. And so, I'm a huge proponent of systems and automations in your business, but you don't want to automate the actual people part of your business. And so the way you want to automate things in your business is so that you can leverage time with your people. Um, and whether that's your clients, your pre-clients, you know, whatever you want to call them, potential clients, leads, warm, warm leads, warm list, you want to be able to like, have time to actually organically dialogue with them. So these are things that empower you and enable you to do that. And so leveraging your time um, looks like, you know, taking action and building these small automations or finding ways to repurpose stuff, right? And so you don't want to do that until you're actually very clear and feel really confident, feel really good. Otherwise, it ends up feeling very futile. Um, and so if you're not ready to start leveraging your time and you're feeling a little burnt out because you're trying to do that and then it's not working, then you're trying to do another one and it stops not working. Um, if you're needing some breakthrough and clarity or you're just trying to get that first, maybe your, your next client, like your first or second client, um, and you know like 2019 is your year to grow and increase your impact and increase your income, um, and this, this stuff kind of resonated with you, I would like to invite you to apply for my one-to-one. -one. I only have four slots left for January um, because right now I'm booked out through the end of December. But in January, I've opened up uh, five slots. One is already gone. And um, I would just be so honored to support you in taking, you know, your ideal client persona and, and wrapping that up or maybe getting super clear on your core offer so that you can start scaling in 2019. Um, and so if that is you and you know, like 2019 is the year you want to hit the ground running really hard, um, please PM me, you can email me. Um, and as a super simple Black Friday offer, if you book for January before November 30th, the last day of November, 
you'll get access to me as your coach right now via Voxer. Voxer is a coaching app. It allows us to have an ongoing running dialogue um, and you can start asking me your questions now. So you don't have to wait till January to start coaching. You can actually start coaching with me like the day you book. So um, if that's you or that feels like something that's interesting to you, shoot me a PM, hit reply on the email for the replay and let me know um, if that's something that you're interested in. And so um, for those of you who are interested in small automations um, and learning like how to do that um, and when to do that and wondering like, how do I leverage this thing in my business? Drop down small automations, I'll send you a PM and you can ask me your questions there. Um, if you're interested in learning more about how to repurpose and reuse your content, I have a super affordable, reusable course called Map Your Content, right? And so if that's you, drop an NYC in the comment section and I will send you the more information about that. So that's all I have for you today. I hope that you found this super helpful and I hope that you have a really productive and uh, successful week. Happy Thanksgiving to all of those of you who are celebrating. I know I'm celebrating. I'm really excited about it and I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.